Okay, in this video, we're going to fire up the Asus Transformer Prime for the very first time. Now remember, this is the first ever quad-core tablet on the market in the world. So I'm really anxious to fire this up and see the performance on this device. And I'm going to press on the power button, which is up here in the upper left-hand corner of the device. So I'm just going to press that down and hold it. And I get a little vibration. I don't know if you heard it once it registers that it was turning on. And it says EPAD, Asus, powered by NVIDIA Tegra, which is a Tegra 3 chip in here. Like I said, it's a quad-core processor. And you get a cool Asus logo when you boot this thing up. And here we go. Now, this tablet has honeycomb on it but it is upgradable to Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, Ice Cream Sandwich should be coming out for this device in early January of 2012. So right here it says welcome, and it wants me to pick my language. Obviously, it's English and it's United States English, so I'm gonna hit start here. And then it says input method. Now, in my previous video, I told you guys about the situation I'm in with the keypad on this device, or the keyboard on this device. But just in case you missed it, let me catch you up to speed. I ordered this device from Best Buy, and this is the gray version. They offer a gray and a champagne version, and I think that the gray version looks better than the champagne color does. Unfortunately, Best Buy only offered the champagne keyboard, so I had to order the keyboard from somewhere else, and this came from Best Buy today. I have yet to get the keyboard, but when it does come, I will do a video on that. So we're gonna to have to do this without the keyboard, but it says input method, ASUS keyboard, use system language, and that's checked. And then over here it's grayed out, it says active input methods, ASUS English keyboard, ASUS English keyboard, and uh, one is US, one is UK, and then ASUS English keyboard Canada. So we're just gonna keep this as default here where it says ASUS keyboard, use system language. And I'm gonna hit next here. Okay, that last part I edited out was because the device wanted to log into my wireless network. I logged into my wireless network, and this is the next screen that comes up. It says, use Google's location service. Google's location service uses Wi-Fi and mobile networks to provide apps with your approximate location without using GPS. You can change these settings later with the location and security and Google search settings. Right here, they're both checked. I will probably leave them checked, but basically what it says here, it says use Wi-Fi and mobile networks to determine my location. This allows Google's location service to collect anonymous location data. Collection will occur even when no applications are running. That's fine. And the next one here says use my location for improved Google search results and other Google services. That's fine. I'm gonna hit next here. And it wants me to set the date and time. Today is the first day of winter, December 21st, 2011, and I'm going to set the time. The time is wrong here. Uh, I'm going to have to move this down, and let's see how I do this. It says use network provided time. Actually, I'm just going to leave that on. You could change it, but I think this is going to set it automatically. So I'm going to use the network provided time and see how that works. If not, I always can go into the settings and change the time. Let's hit next. And then it says here, sign in with your Google account. Many Google and Android features and services require a Google account. Touch next to sign in with an existing Google account or create a new Google account now. Or touch skip to simply start using your Android device. You can sign into a Google account later in settings under accounts and sync. I obviously have a Google account, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sign into that now and I'll join up with you on the other side of that. Okay, so here we go. The device is up and ready to use. The last step there that I edited out asked me if I wanted to sync this device with my Google account. So basically any apps or anything that I have associated with my Google account would be uploaded on this device automatically. So I chose to do that and now the device is ready to use and you see some of the characteristic Asus flavor on this device such as the background. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mess around with this and see the performance on the device. Like I said, it is a quad core tablet so it should be pretty snappy. The swiping is pretty cool. 
and what's this my zine here there's a lot of apps on here that uh, look new to me so we will be exploring this device a little more in depth in future videos but if you're familiar with honeycomb tablets this is a characteristic honeycomb tablet with a couple of Asus spins to it. Let's go into the app drawer here and see what we have available here. At Vibe Music is new, App Backup, App Locker. Let's see, anything else? File Manager, Glowball. Now that was one of the games that was demoed on this device to show the power of the Tegra 3 processor. My Cloud is new. My Library, My Net, Polaris Office, Press Reader, Riptide, GP. I think that's a game as well. Let's see. Supernote, Xeno. Looks like the device is updating my apps as I speak here. And of course, Tegra Zone. Let's load up Global here. And I really can't wait to get the keyboard attachment because then this tablet will become much more useful. But again, like I said, that's a future video. All right, Global. Now, while it's loading up, you do have some characteristic Android buttons here, but they look a little bit different than stock Android. And here the game starts up. And this uses the accelerometer on the device where you move this ball around. And there's really a lot of cool effects as far as lighting goes and as far as objects. I have, this is the first time I've ever played it, so I don't really know what the goal is. But, um, very impressive visually. I don't know if you have to make these jack in the boxes all appear, or if that's hurting me, I don't know. But, uh, very cool. Very cool tablet. I really can't wait to get some more hands-on time with it. Let's turn this down a little bit. And that pretty much does it for the first time power-up of the Asus EPad Transformer Prime. So stay tuned to my channel for more videos on this tablet. In fact, there's going to be a link at the end of this video where you can click on and see more videos that I upload on this device. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.